I'm on my IBM PS2 Model 25, which has an 8 MHz 8086 processor, and I'm waiting for my friend to join the meeting. Hey! Okay, so he can't actually hear me, but we can see each other's video at an impressive frame rate of 1 frame every 22 seconds, or 0.045 FPS. So no, an 8086 can't zoom, but the cool thing here is that the graphics is traveling over the network. The computer has a 3C503 Ethernet card, and I'm connected to a Raspberry Pi over Telnet. You might be thinking, Telnet doesn't do graphics, but actually it can if your terminal supports it. As far back as the 1960s, companies like Tektronix and Digital Equipment Corporation were using escape sequences to support vector graphics and bitmap graphics on their terminals. The protocol I'm using here is Sixel Graphics, which was developed by DEC in the mid-80s. There's a software library called libsixel, which you can find on Linux. Here's a Linux machine running mlterm, which supports Sixel Graphics. You can display an image in the terminal running img to Sixel. This works in a similar way on Telnet on the 8086. It leaves text mode, shows the picture, and then goes back to text mode when you press a key. I made myself a front end for img to Sixel called show that converts large images to 320 by 200. And I was able to make this the default application for showing images in the Lynx web browser. So if I'm browsing the web in text mode and I want to see an image, I can just click it. By the way, mouse clicks and movements can also travel over Telnet. There are escape sequences for that. Some applications like Emacs have mouse support. And outside of such applications, the mouse can be used for copying and pasting. I'm lucky because the IBM PS2 Model 25 has MCGA, so it has a 256 color mode. If you have a CGA card, you can tell the show command to use a specific four color palette. I think this opens up the possibility that you can get real work done on a vintage PC in 2020. For example, I sometimes need to use the statistics package R for work. I've made myself a shorthand function for displaying a ggplot image. The version of Telnet I am using is a fork of Michael Brutman's MTCP. I modified the standard MTCP to add Sixel graphics support and mouse support. I also changed it so that Unicode characters are converted to the extended ASCII characters that text mode supports. The link to the GitHub repo is in the description if you want to check it out.